Hi, this is an introduction to the BIM object solutions from Echophone. And we'll start off by showing you the ARCHICAD revision here. So what I'll do is that I, through the BIM object app, click the browse button, I filter for the brand Echophone, and here you can see the amount of solutions and variety of solutions which is available, which is about 50 something solutions for you to choose from. Uh, in this example, I use the Master E, and when I click into this product page, you can see that all relevant information as description, links, related information, classifications are in here. And under the download button, we have the two different downloads of ARCHICAD and Revit. So we'll start up with ARCHICAD. I have this preloaded in here, and we'll click on object to have a quick look at it and all the functionality to begin with. So uh, this is the Master E. Uh, as you can see, we have different table sizes here, panel sizes. Uh, we have different panel materials uh, in a list. Uh, there's also the installation drawings, the rail types, and trans different transitions available for you. And these are, of course, dependent on which system you use and which sizes of table or panels you choose. There's several in-page menus here, and this is, for example, the product descriptions with the reaction to fire, sound absorption, uh, numbers, and so on. Uh, as well as links back to, in this case, technical descriptions to all the correct M drawings, the installation instructions for the AG system in this case, and also a link button that takes you back to the product page where you can get more in-depth in information. And the tool to use this is called the Interior Wizard, which is freely available for you to download at graphisoft.com. Uh, and in this case, we use something that called room accessories, uh, ceiling accessories in this menu. This is because you use a zone to actually place your object. So I'll choose the master E here. I'll define it as a white frost panel type. Leave the other settings as is, but I'll activate the hangers. So we'll see those. Uh, and I also make sure that it's leveled to the zero, to zero at the work plane. Click the detail 3D to see all the detail and then click OK. And what it does is, is that it actually creates a ceiling from out of the zone that we're looking at. And since this room is diagonally oriented, the ceiling will also be diagonal. Uh, but we'll go out to 3D here, activate the cut plane to have a closer look at the construction. And as you can see here, we have hangers placed. Um, and this makes it very easy for architects and engineers to actually do proper ventilation planning and crash detection when they can actually see the geometry. And it also acts, acts as geometry when doing crash detection in external softwares. So I can arrange the ceiling so that it has the correct orientation here with the uh, dynamic tools in the middle of the, of the grid. And if I want to change any settings here, I can just have the ceiling selected. I can go back here and I can change, for example, the tile size of the panels. I can choose a different transition here. So uh, any change according to this. Uh, it's all instant and, it's do, and it does it all throughout the entire project. I can also change the different the lengths of the hangers. We're also dynamic, of course. And when my configuration is done, I can also get a bill of materials here in the components list uh, under the basic template. And here is all the components listed, which is part of this particular ceiling. Uh, as you can see, it's down to the actual hanger clips. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is also available for Revit. And this is the first view you get in, when you open up the Revit project file. It's an instruction template for, for you how to, how to use these products and what is actually included. Uh, and we'll start off here with the ceiling plan. You can see the different tiles for the mastery. Uh, you can see the fixing uh, detail drawings, as well as there is also available uh, installation detail drawings and transitions. And this is because the method of working is not the same as in ARCHICAD. Here you place the ceiling uh, with the room as base, and then you have to advise the detail drawings uh, to do the correct installations instead of seeing them geometrically as an ARCHICAD. And when selecting a ceiling, we get all the same information here as on the product page. Uh, we have the reaction to fire, sound absorption, and so on. And to use these ceilings in your own project, what you do is that you select one, you go to modify, and you copy the ceiling you want to use, navigate to the project where you want to use it. Uh, in this case, I'll go into the into the site plan uh, because what I need to do is that I need to paste this object into the project for it to actually realize uh, that it's here. So I'll do that now. 
And when that is done, I'll navigate to the floor plan where I actually want to use it. Uh, so let's go to, sorry, the ceiling plan. So I go to the ceiling plan, I tab in to select the ceiling, uh, which I want to uh, replace, and I replace it with Echophone Mastery. This can of course be done by just placing a brand new ceiling as well. So these objects are available for you at beamobject.com, but also at eTools located at Echophone's website.